This is a short film about the new Scratch interface from MIT. Uh, in previous iterations, you had to install Scratch on your computer, but what they've done with this one is they've moved it completely online. So now, if you want to program something in Scratch, all you need to do is go to this address here, and you are faced with this screen, which is very familiar to anybody who's used Scratch. We have the stage here. We have a box here which contains the sprites. At the moment, there's just one sprite, the familiar smiling cat who's loaded automatically. Then we have the scripting blocks here with different versions of the blocks that you can select. You have uh, costumes next to it because you can uh, sprites can put on different costumes. They can change as a result of what happens to them in the program. And then there's also uh, sounds as well. So we have uh, sounds that are attached to the, uh, to the sprite, which is useful. And then over here is where we drag out the scripting blocks to assemble, uh, to assemble the program to make stuff happen. So let's go ahead and, and make a really simple program. At the moment, the cat, you can grab the cat and move him or her. I don't know the gender of it. doesn't matter, really. Uh, you can move the cat around the screen like this, so it's movable. However, let's try and write a program so that when you click it with your mouse, the cat makes a sound... And, uh, and pops up a message. So how do we do that? Well, we need to, um, we need to find a suitable uh, script block. And if you think about it, that's an event, isn't it? So when the, the cat is clicked is an event. So um, you can have uh, when this sprite is clicked. So we drag that out. Now, because this block of code has a little hat shape on top of it, uh, it's suitable to place at the top of a block of code. You always need one of these at the top. So the first instruction is when this sprite is clicked and now it's saying, what happens next? Well, the first thing uh, we need it to do is make a sound. So let's click on the sound tab and uh, you'll see that loaded in is, is actually the meow sound. If I just double click on the, the, the code block, the, the meow comes. So all I have to do is drag this code over here and snap it into place underneath the uh, hat like that. There we go. Now, just to test that. Yes, it's working very well. Now, when I click, when I, when I click the cat, the thing meows. Right. So the last bit of the program is we want the cat to say hello and we need to look around for some uh, way of doing that and um, the the cat saying hello is under looks because you're changing the look of the sprite so let's drag out uh, say hello for two seconds and hello is okay but let's make it more feline specific hello I'm a cool cat there we go and then let's say that it's going to say that Seem to decide the cat said male. Um, the cat will say that for five seconds. So now what should happen is when the sprite is clicked, it should meow and it should say, hello, I'm a cool cat for five seconds. Let's test it out. There we go. Doesn't five seconds seem a long time when you're waiting to see if it'll actually disappear, but it does actually work. So there we have it. We've created our first Scratch program on the uh, online site. We didn't need to log in. We didn't need to create an account. We simply went there. So the guys at MIT have made it super easy to get involved in programming. If we want to uh, save this file because we want to work on it later, we can click on download to your computer. And let's just place it on here. And we'll call it cat1 dot sb sb is the um extension for a sense or for a scratch program so now i actually have on my desktop that program so when i come back to this interface later on if i come back in a couple of weeks i can go to file and i can upload that file from my computer and carry on working it so there we go a short film about how cool it is that scratch is now online and i'm very excited about looking at some of the other features in some videos to come.